everyone from Thailand. So for most of you on the East Coast, you're probably asleep right now. It's about 4.30 a.m. for you right now, but in Thailand, it's like 3.30 p.m., so it's normal time. So I have something that I didn't plan to go live. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> I, If you know me, you know that although I have done a lot of speaking and I do a lot of speaking, I'm one of those people who feel like I'm only going on a stage or I'm only showing up when I feel like I have something that I really need to say and that others need to hear. And so I, um, maybe 30, 20 minutes ago, I went next door, there's a shopping mall next door and I went to get myself some avocado, um, an avocado smoothie. And I was standing in line, it was a, quite a long line this time, and I was overwhelmed with emotion. I mean, my eyes got all watery. Have you ever had a moment where you're somewhere and then you're overwhelmed with emotion, but you're trying to just <laughs> look normal? <laughs> and so that's what happened. I had this thought and I was overwhelmed with emotion and my eyes became watery. And this woman's looking at me like, what, what's your order? And I'm trying to smile, but I know my eyes are red and water and I'm just like, oh no. And that's because I have this thought while I was standing there of it, the thought came to me and it just said, who are you standing for? And I was just like, whoa, whoa, okay. It's one of those moments, right? I was like, who am I standing for? You know, and the next thought was, I'm standing for kids, for 10,000 kids, right? And then I imagined showing up in all areas of my life, standing with 10,000 kids, right? And then I thought of, okay, going through my day, going through my day, doing the things that I set out to do, showing up for 10,000 kids, reading the books that I set out to read every day, filtering the information so that I can transfer it to 10,000 kids and having my meetings and gaining the knowledge and putting out my creative energy in the world for 10,000 kids and that just, wow. So what I wanna ask you is, you know, whatever it is that you're passionate about, whatever your work is, think about who's on the receiving end of that. Okay, think about who's on the receiving end and then multiply them times 10,000. And imagine that they're standing with you at this moment they're standing with you, cheering you on, waiting for you to produce or to create whatever it is that you set out to create. That's powerful, right? I mean, talk about killing your procrastination. <laughs> you know, talk about connecting to your resilience muscle, right? Talk about your bounce back muscle being better than ever before. If you just go through your day, hi, Christos. If you just go through your day, imagining that 10,000 of the people who you want to support or create for, imagine if 10,000 of those people are going throughout your day with you, it's, it's the most beautiful thing ever. And that's really what's happening, right? People, the people that you say that you're creating for, or you're going to you have a problem that you want to solve for, whoever that ideal receiver is, they are waiting for you to follow through, to show up, right? So I would love for you to comment below and just say their names. And, and I don't mean individual names, but say who you're, who you're standing for, who you're showing up for. And for me, it's definitely children around the world. I stand for them. And so throughout my day, when I'm going through my to-do list, I remind myself that I am standing for 10,000, 10,000 children, 10,000 young people who are ready to learn and receive things that'll help them to feel seen, heard, and appreciated and valued right now. That's who I'm standing for. And it's, it's such a powerful, beautiful thought and an amazing motivator. Thank you for listening, Christos. I miss you and the girls so much. And have a great day. And remember to tell me who you're standing for.